As most of you know, I have, I think I've had some of my most fun moments on television working with my good friend Lucy Arnaz, currently at Jones Beach, starring in Annie Get Your Gun. How are you, Lucy? Oh, I'm fine, Bill. It's good to see you again. Yeah, I will see you and too And Desi, beautiful Desi, is here. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> beautiful Bill. We love you. <laughs> you know, I thought, what, rather than sit here and go through we'll the, the usual oh, stuff no. of growing up in Hollywood and the, the things yes, that people ask you a lot, I thought we'd devote most of today's show to talking about the realities of growing up brother and sister. I had a sister. She and I had a lot of conflict in our early years. And Where even is she today? She's in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Oh, right good. Now. She can't see my show because they don't get it in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I thought you were going to say she was That's, blind. I've or been something. hearing no, that for a long time. Terrible. <laughs> so look, basically, how would the, how would the two of you characterize your relationship as brother and sister growing up? How would we characterize, characterize it? it? Yes. Characterize it. Characterize. Well, let's see. There was mom. There was mom. Yeah. yeah and then there was dad. Right. Yeah. And uh, Uncle Ned. We knew was a Uncle character. Ned was a hell he of a character. He was a hell of a character, yeah. Great character that uh, we grew Dee. up with. You know, Uncle Ned said something to me. He always used to say to me, I don't know, Lucy may remember this. Ah. This is my favorite line that Uncle Ned used to say. He said, what? You know, I belong to the round church. And we go, What is that? What's a round church, Uncle Ned? He said, That's the church the devil can't get you cornered in. <laughs> Who was Uncle Ned? What was his last name? I don't know. He was a we cousin of his my grandmother. As a, as a, a cousin of my grandmother we, became my Uncle Ned. Now, does that make sense to you? We never did know his last name. Never we knew just his Uncle last Ned. name. Just Grand Uncle Ned. Uncle used Ned. to put ketchup on everything. And lost his finger as a lumberjack. He'd say, look, my finger's gone. And I'd go, oh, my God, Uncle Ned. He could shovel his teeth back and forth, too, remember? <laughs> this an unbelievable guy. He had a bridge guy. on top and on bottom. Unbelievable guy. These are probably little known facts that most people don't get to find out this about This was us. a character growing up that we yeah. remember. Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned. Now, other than that, how Other we than would that, how characterize we Well, look, did, look, here, I'll ask you some I more detailed know. questions. Oh, did, you, did you get along well, or was there a lot of conflict between the two of you? Well, let me, let me put it this way. Do you see this scar? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah. Uh -huh. The one that's yeah. running from the, your eyebrow. Right. Eyebrow down to here. Right. Now, if you tell them that I put that scar my on your face. My sister one day got so upset it's she picked up true. my surfboard and hit me with it. With a, with a not true. No, not but see true, this no. little pencil no, mark right here. This pencil mark is true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait she a second. There is. There's a little like a piece, piece of lead. Piece of blue. If you want to get in real close on this, no, you don't want to do that. But this is true. I could have <laughs> put his eye out. That's how stupid well, I was what, when I was a kid. What started this argument? I don't remember those things. Don't remember those things. So it's like everybody. I, I think that. if they care about each other, will argue every once in a while, especially when you live together. You know, I mean, every you got to get into a good. But maybe that was our problem, Bill. We never argued. Uh, oh, you mean our problem? Uh, we don't we care never about argued, each other. but I didn't throw any pencils at you. No, that's, that's true. true. Maybe you should have. Desi well, and I are still <laughs> together. We've had th we've had a couple of knockdown drag out. Oh, excuse me. Fights? No, no, no that's all right. Desi. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Something. I'm sorry. I, I just called you no. Debbie. <laughs> I just Debbie? called him Debbie. I didn't mean it's Desi, not it Debbie. Like we used to argue about that a lot too. I used to call him Debbie a lot. Well, I want to I want to get back into. Let's the, get back. Did to you it. have physical <laughs> fights? Did you have? Oh, you know. Okay, this is what would happen. This is very interesting because this is something that uh, I remember seriously. today. It's just serious. Right. Very serious and very, very interesting because our mother said something to me that I'll always remember and it applies to everything. It's true. Not just fighting, true. but fighting is a good example. If we would get into a little tussle now, first, you know, as kids, you start fighting, you know, and right. you start going One like this. Hurt. And then you go, oh, and then you start hitting each other and it gets a little bit too, you know, too rambunctious, yes. right? And mom would come over and she'd say, the first one that gets hurt gets hit. We go, huh? And you'd stop what? and you'd go. The first one that gets hurt gets hit. And it was so, it was so confusing that you'd stop fighting. <laughs> stop it, you know, you go. Because you go, what did she just say? What did she mean by that? Does that mean I'm going to get it if you yeah, get it? If I hurt you, I'll get Yeah, so it would stop it? us from, for really, and it's, and it's a great, the isn't that a great saying? The first one that gets hurt gets hit. Yeah. That's it. First yeah. one that gets hurt gets hit. And we all go, da. You're a year and a half, you're a year and a half older than Desi. Right. right? So this is your older sister, that you always right. had an older sister. Older, right? wiser sister. <laughs> Younger, cuter brother. I'm the one with the kind face. <laughs> <laughs> did you have any? Did you have any conflict or difficulties with each other's friends? Like, for example, her girlfriends and you, your boyfriends and her, all that I stuff. I don't know. Well, we don't. That's that's territory. You never touch that, see, because his boyfriends are possibilities. See, and all my girlfriends were possibilities for him. So we kept nice, even ground there. We, yeah, you we look confused territory. by this thing. Well, we, dated, remember we dated each other's friends. Is that what you're asking? Did you we did each other's friends? No, we dated. dated. Oh, you dated. Dated. 
I'm sorry, uh, sorry, Debbie. I, Excuse me. It's okay. Those little verbal slips are uh, prone it's okay. to on Mondays. It's okay, Joanna. <laughs> Did you, did a lot of kids, brother and sister, you know, the reality is that they, they're vying for the affection of their parents, that there's competition between the two of them to get mother to love them more, father to love them more. Mother love, she did that? I didn't do that. Did I do that? I never vied for attention. Did I do that? What no, did I do? no, no, she didn't. She didn't like me when I was first born. There's, two, there's a picture of us on Look Magazine, for the old Look huh? Magazine. How many kids cover. out there remember that, huh? No. <laughs> the kids, Will, they were our age. No, I mean the brothers and sisters, the, the second, the second um, there's a, it's, child. It's, it's the funniest picture in the world. But, I mean, and I, I look at it now and I think I know exactly what I must have been thinking because my mother's holding Desi. They'd just been born on television and my father's smiling, my mother's smiling. There's a picture of me sitting right up next to him going... <laughs> Like, like going, Ooh. is this gonna live with us forever now? <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean I gotta share a room? <laughs> we, you didn't have to share rooms, all right? You had no. We separate did. Rooms. We did share a room once. I was thinking about that last time. Boy, did I love that. No, <laughs> little joke. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. We love you. Where did, uh, where did we do that? In here in New York City, which is interestingly enough, we uh, we lived together for two years, Lucy. Oh, be damned! You're that's right. That's right. We, kid we shared a room here, shared the one room. year that my mother lived in New York. You I forgot all about that. Yeah, we, we roughed it in New York. <gasps> yeah. Lucy, um, really one time when we were on one of our dates, um, you, you two used to date? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> you told no, I knew, me. I knew, I knew. You I knew. told me that Desi came into your bedroom once and turned over and threw the mattress off your bed, and then you ran outside and kicked your foot through his drum. No, I just, no. This no, is true. I was more clever than that. You could hurt yourself kicking a drum. What did you do? Well, I... Tell me the whole story and what caused it. I don't... You keep asking me those things. Those things are always... You always forget that. Don't you always forget what you fought about, but you remember what happened, right? Some terrible thing. He doesn't forget what he fought about. This person in the front row here remembers everything we'll he chance. ever fought about. <coughs> no, but what... I don't know. We argued about something, and Desi got I, so furious that remember. he vented his anger. Thank God, not on me. He could no. have picked me up and threw me against the wall. Strong, Instead, like he bull. picked up the whole mattress. I'll never forget this as long as I live. He right off of the box springs and threw it across the room and the bedding went... I said, my God. I mean, there was no way I was going to continue that argument, but I was, nevertheless, I was still angry. So I very quietly left the room and he thought the argument was over and I went outside and took a drumstick and went like this, pop, at the top of his drum. You know how much it cost to, to, to fix the top of a drum, you see? I would but go outside to practice. Did it bother no. you that your brother was a drummer in the first place? I mean, that you would be trying Probably. to study and he was drumming? Was, well, on Sunday mornings, when now the like truth comes sleep, out, I didn't know any of this. When you like to sleep, our, our neighbor was Jack Benny. God bless his beautiful soul. Really right across the way. Not only right across the way, but directly across from my bedroom was his practice room. And every Sunday morning at 8 o'clock, he would get up and go... And he would play that. That doesn't sound at all like a violin. Anyway, um, he would play the violin and practice. And then Desi would go downstairs and play the drums. Now, drums and violin together... We'd, we'd try to drown each other out. It's like you know, he'd start playing pie. louder and I'd yeah, start playing beer louder. Beer and pie, very good. That was it, though? I mean, that you was never it. played with Jack? I never played with Jack. I did play in unison with Jack. I tried to kind of play along with him, but we never talked about the fact that we were practicing together. We would just do it unassumingly oh without each other knowing. Well, I'm we sure you have some questions right for Lucy and Desi, right, folks? And we've got some questions for you. How, how many are real brothers and sisters here in the audience? Raise your hands. Oh. Good group. We'll be back to meet you right after this. Okay, we have kind of a laboratory situation here with brothers and sisters uh, in, in the audience. Here, here's a fellow with a typical problem. Stand up just for a second. Your sister's here as well? Uh, yeah. What, stand sister. up, would you please? What, what's your name? Uh, Jim McDermott. And you're? Lynn McDermott. All right, you want to explain what your problem is to Lucy and Desi? They will give you all the advice you need on that. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Well, my problem is I have seven sisters, and... In the morning, when I have to, when I have to go to get go get into the bathroom, all of us have to do that. <laughs> Even in Beverly Hills, they right. have to do that. Good. <laughs> well, all all the sisters, we, when we all go into school at the same time, first one would go in, and then since they're all girls, then the oh, other no. one would go in, and they they say, "Can I come in?" And then the other one would come in, and I couldn't get in. No there way to butt the in there, yeah. And well, let me come over to your me. house, and I'll try to work that out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's okay with you. Uh, I'll, if I could meet your sisters or uh, <laughs> maybe get to know them, I could work it out for now, you. Where were you in line, by the way? I'm the oldest. Mm, you're the, so you were first in the bathroom in the morning? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> well, Lucy, you know how to solve problems well, like yeah, this. How do we solve this problem? This is a woman's. Well, I think he should go first. 
Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> That's, they never said that. Have you ever noticed, like at restaurants and things, you know, you and your date will say, we'll go to the restrooms and I'll meet you back at the seat? Well, he's always back before you are. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You should get Guys, in there first. Guys, don't take that sure. long in the bathroom. All right, Lucy will write you a note, a, an admission, one admission. Let this fellow <laughs> in first. Admission to get into the bathroom. Thank you. Right. Good luck. Let that fellow into the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, here's a very attractive brother and sister. Let's see what they, just stand up a second. What's your name? Cindy Toast. Cindy and Peter Bedrosian. Peter Bedrosian and Cindy Toast. Tell us what your problem was. We did one time have a problem. We no longer have this problem. But when I was younger, I always had an adopted older brother. <laughs> now, that's a very strange situation. Whenever that was the problem? Was the pro yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> no, the problem was whenever he, it's more or less my friends and his friends. Whenever his friends would come over, I always got the attention. I always played basketball better than he did. And we always... <laughs> How did you feel about this, Not Peter? very good. Not she very played good. basketball better than you? He was a tomboy and a little brat. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, as she grew up, all these guys wanted to see her and not play basketball with me. And I couldn't understand what they'd wanted to so play. So this is really your problem, right? It what is. do you do with an attractive younger sister who's a tomboy stealing your friends? Uh, Get, well, uh, Desi, Desi <laughs> Jr. will be able to answer this. He's, he already, his computer like mine, already has an answer for this. <laughs> oh, hello? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Picture a transformation from a like, little tomboy girl into a, a grown... Until Right, so what we're saying... It's today, hard for Desi to picture that, but... It's difficult for me to picture it. Considering I never went through that transition. <laughs> no, well, yes, you did. She did in a way. She was kind a of a tomboy, brother. too, in a way. And then she, she got out of it, grew up, and, uh, you know... We like to say tom girl. We looks pretty good well, today, Lucy, huh? DRA, you know? Lucy, did, the, did that, in fact, happen to you where... Your friends, his friends would come over and they'd end up spending, spending more time more with you? Time with her. No, hard as I try. Wait, 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 it did happen. That did happen every did once it? in a while. Yeah, yeah, and I got a little ticked off because of it, too. <laughs> I want to tell you that right now. Well, what did you a do of my friends would end up with her. What did you do then? What, what did I do? None of your business. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. No, we get along, don't we, Bill? There was <laughs> <laughs> like a non-person, you know, coming up, and I just couldn't understand what, what they'd even want to bother with her, you know. Well, what, what's, what's happened now between you two? That's what I wanted. Do you get along all right? Yes, we and, get along very well. And she's still a good basketball player. <laughs> still a good basketball player. <laughs> I still player. beat him. Right. <laughs> Cindy, were you aware of the fact that you were causing trouble for your brother then? Not yes. then. Well... Yes? yes, it was. He says, yes. I think so. She's a terrible flirt, and she. It was fun. <laughs> ah, I see now. It's all. Oh. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank did, you. did we solve your problem here? I think so. Well, you solved it yourself. You right. still don't live together, do you? No. Good. No. <laughs> Who else has one for me over here? Let me just move over here. Stand up. Your brother and sister? Yeah. Well, sister, get to stand up too. What's your name? Rhonda Hershey from Paramus, New Jersey. And you're? Mitchell Hershey. Rhonda hey. and the Hersheys from New Paramus, <laughs> New Jersey. All right, what's your problem? Well, I usually end up in high school with all her teachers and... Um, her teachers, yeah. Her teachers and I, and I always get the different feeling from the teachers. I'm always the pain and she's always the good one. They always go, you're so much unlike your sister, it's incredible. And they always, you know... I got that. I got that all through school. Because she's such a smart one and understood Miss. She thing. was the Miss Miss Smart, Miss Miss Nice, Miss Miss Okay. Everything was fine. And I got in there. I was the cut up, the clown. How come you can't your sister? Well, what did you do, Des? What did I do? You got ticked off. I got ticked off. That's what I did. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> uh, what did I did. You? I got ticked off. I'm not kidding. Sure, I did. I said you're wrong. I said I'm, I'm just as good as my sister, only in another way. I'm. I have a different personality than my sister. I look different, number one, okay? I'm a guy, she's a girl, there's number two. Uh, you know, I mean, there are a lot of differences. You know, they couldn't expect me to come in and fill her shoes. Not me, not th I got my own shoes. <laughs> well, what listen, what do you do? Do you feel that you gotta try to, you have to try to act more like your sister or fill her shoes no, or I what? I ignore my teachers, I, you know, really. I don't have to act like her because I'm an individual and I don't have to. Right. Um, do you Mitchell agree with that? Do you, do you really agree? Is he really an individual? Don't oh, yes, believe me. <laughs> Very Don't let the teachers lead you astray that way. You tell them that you're your own guy and that uh, you're just as good as your sister in your own way. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. Did also, you wear
Is too oh. when you were yes yes I did the believe it or not with the space <laughs> Lu uh, Lucy what do you want to say no I I just said that it's even when you don't go to the same school like after grammar school we ended up going to separate high schools I went to an all girls high school and he went to s many well depending and, on uh, <laughs> uh, it's another story it's a long story <laughs> um, sorry. But even then, they compare you to, uh, with our problem, was, you know, that we weren't exactly like they expected us to be because of our parents. So that's a thing. You're always having to live up to something. Somebody's, yeah, estimation yeah. of what they expect. Especially in, in um, private schools where the mothers who went to the all-girls school grow up and they send their daughter to the school. And then the same teachers are there. They're now 108. And they expect <laughs> you to be exactly like your mother. your mother was when she was there. And if you're not, they either don't like you, you know, it's... Very difficult. I got it. Hey, listen, let's take a break. I know we've got, I can sense the problems brewing and simmering here in the audience. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Who has one? This is a lot of fun. We have a whole audience of brothers and sisters, a couple twins in the back. We'll get to you in a moment or two. Let's hear it for twins. Let's hear it for the twins. Our guests are Lucy Arnaz, her Lucy Arnaz Jr., and we're talking about typical brother and sister situations. You're Dave, right? and this is Lynn. Right. Where are you from, Lynn? Merrick. Okay, oh, no. go ahead. I All have right. a feeling this is Merrick. a good one. All right. Uh, you, I don't know if you can relate to this problem. My father's in business for himself, and when he Their bought father the, was in business Well, okay, himself. right, but uh, we're in retail, and ever since I've been young, I've been working in that store. And I used to go in on Saturdays and Sundays when I was little. And you're, when I got, you're thinking, we can't relate no, to that? No, wait, wait. <laughs> Right. And you when I got it. older and I got my car, I used, to, <laughs> I used to drive in by myself. My sister never worked a day in her life until this summer. Oh, well, lucky and you. Now, now, she has been sharing everything equally that I have had no. and yeah. worked for yeah. over these past seven years. Yeah. And now, I live at home and commute to school. Yeah. And she's going away to college for the first time in the fall. Uh -huh. yeah, and yeah. boy, is she racking up. She is racking up <laughs> no, on stuff. No, but he has a car. I don't have. Oh, well, what do you mean? What do you mean? She's making money? No, making well, money. What's the basic it's problem? You're jealous of her, oh, right? Oh, really? She doesn't I have know to work. what it's, the basic it's problem unfair. is. It's unfair. It's sort of like you're the oldest, right? Right. I'm the oldest. Right. I couldn't wear tennis shoes without socks. <laughs> Until I was 13. That's a definite problem. This was problem. a rule in That's, my house. I could see where that could be a when problem. When I was 13, I could wear tennis shoes without socks. Yeah. He was 11 and a half at the time, and he could wear them at the same time. I thought that was pretty rotten. No, oh, but I see what it is. See I what I mean? You. It's like I the, the preferential sort of treat. Right. On, on the right. Well, right. like talking you have to, to go through it first before. Right. right. Talking to an older, we yeah. break all the ice. We break all the ice. They come through. right in and they just the parents through. go. Oh, sure, that's okay because we let her do it. I love you for that. Everything. Yeah, everything. Now get out of here. Yeah, everything <laughs> I bought along the way and picked up for myself, my working on my own, everything she picked up. But you got to give her her chance. You got to well, give her her right. Well, yeah. Just think yeah. everybody's a. Uh, everybody has the right to, to be free. <laughs> well, were you two happy when you were separated at different schools? Uh, well, because we weren't together, you mean? Yeah. Well, you're not together when you go to three different ages anyway. You're well, not in the actually, same Actually, we, we still rode to school together in the morning. Did oh, you really? Oh, now, there's, there's and, uh, some of our major arguments right there. Yeah, when? riding to school in trying, the morning. Trying, because see, I'm, I'm always trying to be on time. I mean, because I, I would get in big, big trouble if I was late. And I had to be to school a little bit earlier than he did. So we always had to get me... I was always late. On time. I was always late. Oh, and I would be ready to leave, and he'd be just getting up. Getting you up. Always, you know, the girls were always late. School. Than the guy. Well, how, what did you did? It, did you ever solve the problem, or did it yes, just? Yes, I stay? used to go in and throw water on him. Yeah, a lot of water. Like, really? Get up. And he'd go in on, and throw my up. mattress against the wall. <laughs> I have to go out and buy his drum, and then we'd we got in the argument. I've done that once. Yeah. I once picked up her mattress. <laughs> but you guys, that's great that you're doing that. You're going through a similar experience because you have something to share, something to relate. Now, tell you the truth, I'm honestly glad she's. Going away to school in three weeks? Oh, uh, well, that's good, too. You, you know, know a little time apart. Yeah, I want to move together. on a couple other problems. Okay. Thanks, a lot. Thanks Dave. Okay. But really, Over here. you benefit from the experience that she's not going to benefit from. You folks, stand up. I'll... Brother and sister, right? You are? Sid Tannenbaum. Deanne Birnbaum. Okay, let's hear it. What it was, was you... always great inequities in our relationship. She was a terrific kid, very good in school, cleaned in the house. I was bad in school, did nothing in the house. I could stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning, but if I was home the next night, she'd have to babysit for me. But once she turned on me, and I had a habit when I was younger of cursing, and my parents were terribly upset you about it. don't do this anymore? Well, I, I control myself. Anyway, when you were 11 years old, it's a terrible thing. And I used to curse a lot and upset my parents. And one day, she, she turned on me, and she, I cursed in front of her. 
She told my parents, and they got a hold of me, and I was, I was punished very badly. So I wanted... What to, happened? They deprived me of things. They wouldn't let me go out of the house. I was terribly upset with her. So I was looking for her, and she was cowering in her bedroom. And I found her on her bed, and I you know, had no weapon at hand, so I just wanted to punish her physically. And I went after her with my fist, trying to punch her in the stomach. And she lifted up her knee, and my arm went across her knee, and I compound fractured my arm. <laughs> You see, the first one that gets hurt gets hurt. I spent, <laughs> right, I was punished. The first one to get hurt <laughs> gets hit. Right, and I spent eight weeks in a cat. Terrific stick, uh, punch ball player, though. I had a built-in sure. bat, and uh, oh. that was the result of her turning on me. But actually, we have a, a marvelous relationship. Aren't you glad that you put your knee up then? Exactly, right. Absolutely. I'm guilty to this day. <laughs> Don't be guilty. Enjoy it. it. Thank you very much. Let me, let me meet the twins back here. Twins. Where are the, the, the twins? Hello, twins. Stand up. Are you oh. twins too? Well, you can stand up as well. Hi. What's your name? I'm Eleanor. Sister and Fran. Eleanor and Fran, and you're? Cecilia. Wait, you have to move you sideways here so we can see you here. Yeah, let's get all the twins up as long as you're here. Oh, wow. my gosh. It's an invasion. An invasion from Staten Island. Of they still, that's right. Staten Island not only still has a newspaper, but they have lots of twins. I, I can't, I don't have time to talk to all of you, but I'll, I'll ask you, what's your biggest problem that you have as twin sisters? Well, you know, because we are, you know, we look alike, we hang around with the same people and everything. She stole my boyfriend. <laughs> I did not. Uh, wait a second. She uh, says she didn't steal your boyfriend. Don't listen to her. <laughs> well, now, let me, let me get to the facts. What's the fellow's name? Scott. Scott. And how, how long were you dating Scott? Well, you see, I had just met him. We started to get to like each other and everything. And then she walked around, <laughs> you know, flirting and everything, batting her odd flashes, and she just took him away. I did not. <laughs> well, no, um, who is dating Scott now? I am. You are. <laughs> but you claim you didn't take Scott away. No, he came after me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Any comments, uh, it Lucy? To people Let's get Scott who in don't here. have a twin. Okay, come on, Scott. <laughs> what, what was that, Lucy? It happens to people who do not have a twin. I got news for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. funny. Thank you very much. One, time for one more set of twins here. What's your name? John Langland. And? Doreen. John and Doreen. What's the biggest problem you have as brother and sister? Getting into the bathroom trying to take a shower all the time. She's always in there. And then when she's out, she spends a half an hour doing a hair. It takes all day. Look at the way it is now. I am <laughs> All fluffed out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my problem. Um, well, well, move in with me. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. We solve it. Thank you. Yeah. You have a habit? You want a break? Smoking? No, I did that. That's right. You stopped smoking. I did that. I'm real proud of that. Yeah. I noticed Desi puffing away there. Yeah, I still uh, have a habit that I'd like to break. One of them's smoking. Uh, that's really about it for me is that it, I would consider a habit that uh, I would consider wanting to cut I all have, together. I have many, but yet to get You want to reveal them. any of them? Yeah. Well, that no, one habit. Know. <laughs> I know what they are. Let's go. Let's go. Here we have two a brother and sister on the first row here. I think this is a funny problem. Stand up, both of you. Introduce yourselves and let's hear it. Okay. My name is Sherry Holderman and this is Bobby. Bob <laughs> Holderman? Okay. And uh, there's an obvious age difference between the two of us. How old are you, Sherry? I'm 18. And he is 22? <laughs> <laughs> He's 12. Ah. And whenever I go out, like he wants to always come. He jumps in the car and locks the doors and I can't get in. And my mother says, well, take him with you. And I say, no, well, he can't go where I'm going, you know. And then he starts crying and my father begs me, take him. Because they don't want to mind him, so they try to push him on Bobby, me. Bobby, tell me, why do you want to go so badly with your sister? Because she never takes me no place. <laughs> and plus, you love drive-in movies, right? <laughs> so the basic problem is, he but wants he to go. Wants to go where it's your little brother along on the date, and you don't want him along yeah. on the date. I mean, I don't mind taking him sometimes, but he always wants to go. He never take me. Do you I never, take do you never ever take him with you? I take him to the movies. When was the last time you him. took him someplace? Last year. <laughs> No, uh, about three weeks ago I took him to the movies. But I dropped him there and I came back. Well, why don't you do things that you two can do together? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, do a couple of things that you two but can do together. I think there's a lot of things yeah, that a 12-year-old and 18-year-old can get but. together and do. Oh, yeah, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, uh, uh, just kidding. No, uh, yeah, go to the zoo. Uh, no, uh, right off the tip of my tongue, right? Go to the zoo. No. What do you guys enjoy go doing to at home together? Fighting. <laughs> huh? Fighting. Nothing. Fighting. Yeah, well, why don't you go to the fights together, man? Go to the fights. You got it. No, really, you can do all sorts of things. And especially in this city, there's great things to do. I guess when you're this age in this city, though, as much fun as when you're about 18 in this city. I was in this, we, you know, we lived in here when I was seven and Lucy was eight and a half. And, uh, I didn't like New York at all at that age. You know, there's nothing to do. I, w I, I would have done anything just to be with somebody that I knew here, you know. But uh, to hang out with my sister would have, was, was, and we had the kind of the same problem because she was a year and a half older and I, I wanted to go with her places and she didn't want me to go or something. But we would do things. Well, uh, how did you solve it? Uh, we would do other things and that we could do together, like we worked together, which was fantastic. Yeah. We got we we were really we really love each other, thank thank God, and, and so we got a chance to to show it. And uh, we would do things that we we liked to do together. We'd work together. We'd read plays together. We'd um, what else did we do? We'd go out uh, to the beach. We'd uh, you know go I swimming. I have a better idea, Robert. Why don't you find yourself a 19-year-old pal? <laughs> to pal around with. Some really cute guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of tall, great looking guy. See how quickly she has to get some along. <laughs> good good. Very good. I have a couple of questions in the rear of the audience. All right, I'll, I'll get back there in a second. I have one more brother and sister I want to find out. Stand up, please. You, your name is? Netta. And Shale. And uh, how old are you? I'm um, 19. I'll be 17. What's the situation? My biggest problem is that he'll pull some really garbage stunt. You what know? is, wait a second, a garbage <laughs> stunt? What is a garbage, a garbage stunt? stunt? I haven't told yet, that's the problem. All right, go ahead. And, um, Let's hear. You know, I'll say, oh, I'm going to tell mom, and then he gets real upset, and I promise not to. You know, it's that bond, bond that brother and sister share. And then he'll go, and you know, he'll say, oh, I'll be good, or I won't bother you. And then he goes and pulls all these other things again, and I'm torn between my loyalty to him and, like, this frustration I feel inside, like I want to kill him, you know, and get him in trouble. <laughs> I still haven't told what he's done, and he better watch it. Uh, so. Why don't you just kill him? Uh, because, you know, I can't. It's, you know, like, I don't want to get my parents upset because I scream a lot, and that upsets them. And if I tell on him, I'll get him really, really super upset. But I don't think if I don't tell on him, he won't stop what he's doing. So basically the situation is he has done something. You will not reveal it on television, right. but you refer to it as a garbage stunt. <laughs> Some garbage stunt has been committed, and, my dad is and you right are here. hoping, your own stunt. father is right here, you're hoping that and there's Lucy dad now. and young Desi will help you solve this the problem. Garbage stunt. Okay, you have, you have kids, mm, that, Dr. what garbage do they do? Stunt. Yes, Dr. yes, well, I've studied garbage stunts. <laughs> I know about garbage stunts. Mm. What kind of garbage are you talking about? You're talking about a real, he's, he's not, a she's real fatty. Yeah, a real bad one, real huh? Bummer. Well, why do you feel responsible for the for for him? Do you Excellent. take all the responsibility? Because it was very dangerous what he did. He could have gotten a lot of trouble and could have gotten himself. Well, now wait, whoa! You just said a very incredible thing. Yeah, you want to get him in trouble, but no. you don't want to tell. Him. And and what he did that you're worried about is because he could have gotten in trouble. Right. It's all out of love, am I, I right? Right. I love the guy. Right. You don't want to hurt his feelings, but on the other hand, you don't want him to be doing stuff. That right. Too. And then he makes right. me like mad that I was nice to him like why should I love him all the things he's been doing you know I see so maybe it's what it you have to maybe bad. you have to realize yes, she cares was. about you it wasn't that bad she doesn't really care about you huh? yeah what was it what was the garbage uh, oh uh, come on tell us <laughs> we get Gwen Barrett the, the truth serum please give this young man <laughs> the injection come on this we can get we can get this in that new newspaper if you tell us about the garbage you, you want to know right folks yeah. Yeah. He's what was the garbage done? We can get in a lot of trouble. No, I could get in trouble. Really? Oh. It probably wasn't even that. He just said, "Promise to be a good boy," right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Put your hand on top of her head. <laughs> Don't you dare. Put your hand on top of her head. <laughs> promise to be a good boy. I promise to be a good boy. <laughs>